Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my bookish world, I'm Alex and tonight I am doing a late tonight video because it is after 10 o'clock but I didn't get off work until 9 and I needed to film a video. It's also coming at you a little bit later than normal because um I did not have time to film it two days ago so it's coming out on Thursday. Yay! Or four days, I don't know. Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing my November TBR which for some reason, I thought, I really did think, um, that's the theme of this year, that I thought it was going to be manageable, and then, like, I took a look at it right before filming, and I was like, crap, this isn't manageable. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, I'm calling November my catch-up month. So, these are going to be all the books that I've been meaning to read this year, that I told myself I was going to read this year. These are going to be the books that I said were going to be five-star predictions that I just haven't gotten to. Um, and also just books that, like, I decided I'm going to read. So, yeah, let's get to it. So, the first book that I have here is The Donut Trap by Julie, I'm going to pronounce this, Tao? T I don't know. Anyway, but this, um, as you can see, is an arc. Um, not because I'm special or anything, it's literally just because we had these at work, because now I work at a bookstore, which eventually I am going to do a haul titled, um, I work at a bookstore help, because now that I have that employee discount at Barnes & Noble, um, I buy books more, but also we have, we can take arcs, so that's just an issue. But anyway, I'm gonna try to read this first. This comes out on, I believe, November 2nd. So, I don't know what this is about. I think it's a adult rom-com. Adult romance, maybe? Um, yeah, because it helps, comes in the form of an old college crush. Anyway. So, yeah. Anyway. This is an adult romance that has to do with working in a donut shop and an old college crush. And that's all I really need to know. I probably won't finish this by November 2nd because I'm trash. Um, but I have it. So yeah, you can look forward to a review. I will say also, I am in the middle of one book right now. And I have two other books on my TBR because um, I completely veered off of my October TBR and decided to read spooky books. So um, I might get, to, I'm hoping I will get to these um, before that's Payback's a Witch and The Taking of Jake Livingston. I'm hoping to get to these by the end of October, but one that I will probably start in October, but for sure carry into November is You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao. I don't know how to say that, which comes out in November. I have an e-arc from NetGalley, so like I said, it'll probably be one that carries over, but exciting. Anyway, the next book that I want to read is Daughter of the Deep by Rick Reardon. This is Rick Reardon's newest book, and I just got it like last week. Really excited. Um, it's a standalone, and it doesn't take place take place in the um, Percy Jackson world. I'm really excited. Also, this baby signed, um, and I am just so excited to get to this. I don't really know anything about it. It's um, like based on the 20,000 leagues under the sea or something like that but it focuses on a girl that's like 15 in high school and she um they go to on this like I'm trying to think what is it called she goes to this academy and basically they go on this bus ride to their ship um with a weekend trial and they witness a terrible tragedy i'm really excited it's already it was announced that it's being turned into a movie on disney plus so that's exciting um but i'm really excited to get this i've heard really good things about this character and yeah i'm hoping i'm gonna love it i'm sure i will because as you can see i love rick reardon can't really tell because that's my tbr uh physical tbr but i have all like rick reardon right here i love him um, and then the next book that I hope to read is one that I was going to get to. Actually, the next two are ones that I was planning on getting to in October and then I decided not to. Um, so that's Aru Shah and the End of Time by Roshani Chakshi. Um, I decided that I wanted to start reading all the books in the 
Rick Riordan presents. Um, I have not read any of them besides his own books. Um, so I'm really excited to get to this. All I really know is that this has to do with Hindu mythology, so I'm really excited to see. Um, and the next one is How to Catch a Queen by Alyssa Cole. Also, don't know what this is about, but I know it's the first book in, like, a new series called Runaway Royals, and I believe this one is sapphic, like a female-female romance, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, I don't... I, I'm excited to get to it. Um, I really loved Alyssa Cole's other romance novels. I read all of them this year, and so I'm really excited to get to it still. And then the next book that I have is A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer Armentrout. This beauty. How big does she go? Like, 632. Okay, so she's a big book. Um, Yes, I'm still planning on getting to this, though. I'm probably going to read it over Thanksgiving break because I'm hoping I'll have time to read it during Thanksgiving break. I say that as if I'm still in school and I have time when I work a job that is retail and also will be busy because of Black Friday, but a girl can hope. So anyway, um, basically this is a prequel series to the Blood and Ash series. So I'm not going to go too much into it because like spoilers, but this is the first book in the series. I'm very excited to get to it. She's my favorite author. If you didn't know, you probably don't because you can't see my shelf. That's just dedicated to every single one of her books, but I'm very excited to get to this and I've heard good things already. I had to wait for my pre-order to get in, even though it came out kind of early and I was, it was very hard not to just pick it up at work when I saw people buying it, but I'm gonna get to this baby soon. All right, the next book that I have is one that I'm, I, I pray I'm going to love this, and that is Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Taylor Jenkins Reid, I have read almost all of her books. These are actually like the last two besides like a short story that I have to read. So I want to get to this fun times, which I guess I should also say my second one is after I do. Um, I'm going to get to both of these in November, hopefully. Um, the first one is, a so Forever Interrupted is about this girl named Elsie who is, um, she meets this boy named Ben Ross. They have really great chemistry and then by like, so within weeks they are, they've eloped. And so, Nine days later, Ben is out riding his bike when he is hit by a truck and killed on impact. Um, and so Elsie hears this outside of her apartment. By the time she gets downstairs, he has already been whisked off to the emergency room. At the hospital, she must face Susan, the mother-in-law she has never met, and who doesn't even know Elsie exists. So it's like interweaving Elsie and Ben's charmed romance with Elsie, Elsie and Susan's healing prom, prom, process. I'm so excited. I love the twists. That Taylor Jenkins Reid does on her stories especially with her older stuff um it's not like they're contemporaries but they deal with such interesting issues and there's always like a twist and I'm I'm, I'm so excited for this um and then I have After I Do which is about Lauren and Ryan who get married and um, their marriage just reaches a breaking point and so they come up with an unconventional plan where they decide to take a year off and the hope of finding a way to fall in love again one year apart and only one rule they cannot ca contact each other aside from that anything goes so it's kind of the story of that i'm again i love her stories a genius who would have thought of this taylor jenkins reed duh so yeah i'm really excited to get to these um she always her books especially her older stuff always have like a really fast reads so i'm really excited to get to these I I'm so excited um and then the next book that i have here is shout hello by Lori Hulse anderson um this is i'm gonna be another quick read i got this um it was i think it's on my five star predictions which i don't know why because i don't read nonfiction five stars but anyway um basically this is a memoir and poetry by one by um Lori Hulse anderson who if you don't know is the best-selling author of speak who I absolutely adore, a love. Um, but basically, Speak kind of changed the trajectory about how YA talked about different subjects, because um, it was one of the first books in YA that talked about sexual assault. And so this is a memoir of Laura Hall Sanderson um, 
and she is a sexual assault survivor. So this is about her, and like I said, it's told in poetry. Um, you can't, you can't see that. So I'm really excited to get into this. Like I said, this is gonna be a super quick read. Very heartbreaking, I'm sure, but like, I just love Lori Hall Sanderson. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, the next book is one that I do not own, but hopefully one day I will, and that is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. I have officially, so before this year, I had never read a book by Tiffany D. Jackson, and I'm already going to be on my third for this year, so that's exciting. Um, but Monday's Not Coming is one that kind of got her on my radar a few years ago, um, and it's basically this book about this girl named Monday who goes missing, and her best friend is really upset about it, as but nobody's paying attention to this girl that went missing and so the main character kind of has to go on this like journey I guess um to get people to figure it out and it's kind of a mystery which I also just kind of love the twist that she, Tiffany D. Jackson takes with her mysteries they're really interesting and really cool and then I have A Thousand Perfect Notes by C.G. Drews um, I don't know much about this, but I've, I've owned it for a little bit and I'm been meaning to get to it. Um, basically it's about this girl or this boy, I'm good at names, pronouns, um, is Beck and he, his mom was once a famous pianist, but now she forces her son to play the piano until his hands bleed, um, until August comes along, this girl and August with her bare feet doodled hands. August fiercely protective of those in need. Can she help Beck unlock his own music and say all the things he's never said? So I'm really excited to get to this. It sounds like it's definitely a good like coming of age story. Um, and I, yeah, I'm excited to get to it. And then the last book is one that I'm hoping I can get to. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm a mess. Um, that is Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. I have had this also for a while. I also own the second book. It is right there um so I own the second book and I need to get to it because I own it um and I want to know if I like it so I can continue on with it in 2022 if I do like it so this is the first book in a dark fantasy romance series and I'll be honest I haven't read a lot of dark fantasy romance so I'm a little nervous for this I've read fantasy and I've read fantasy romance not sure if I've read dark um but basically it's about this girl named Fortuna Sworn who is a nightmare and her brother disappeared two years ago, leaving her with no family to speak of. Um, and she's the last of her kind. So she has among humans, spending her days working at a bar and her nights searching for him. The bleak pattern goes on and on until she catches the eye of a powerful fairy. We love Faye. He makes no attempt to hide that he desires Fortuna. And in exchange for he, her, he offers something irresistible. So Fortuna reluctantly leaves her safe existence behind to step back into a world of creatures and power. Soon becomes clear that she may not have bargain, bargained with her heart, but her very life. So I'm really excited to get to it. I'm hoping it's going to be a fast read. It does have kind of tiny print, um, but I do tend, I do tend to read romance pretty fast. So that's my only hope. So yeah, that is, I don't even want to count how many books. It's a lot. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow my social media down below. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.